Hey everyone, how's it going? You're watching Order Strong. I'm Will, and uh, I'm going to go over my USAPL performance. So as a quick rundown, I got 7 out of 9 of my lifts. I went uh, 2 for 3 on squat, 3 for 3 on bench, and 2 for 3 on deadlift. And I had a PR total of 1284. I PR'd in all three events, uh, lifetime bests as well as competition bests, so hooray there. Um, Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the performance. Um, I didn't pull 500 pounds in the deadlift, which is, um, it's just absolutely insane to me. Um, I've been harping on 45, a uh, double at 485, and I don't actually know if I ever did that. I did 470 for three, but it just, you know, even at 470 for three, you kind of figure I'd be able to pull 500, at least for one. But, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, something's up. Um, so I squatted my PR. 485, I benched a PR, 314, and I deadlifted a PR and matched my squat, 485 again. It's a little bit strange that my, my deadlift and my squat seem to continue to be equal to one another. It's just it's just not common. I mean, it happens, and for some guys, deadlift, or I mean, their squat overtakes their deadlift. If I'm this as strong as I am with my legs to, to, to do 485 in a squat, I should be able to do more than that in a deadlift, and I think it's because I'm not able to utilize my legs. So, I think in the future, I'm going to probably switch to sumo, but we'll see. Last time I tried sumo, I didn't enjoy it a whole lot. It was scratching up my legs and uh, not fun, but, you know, it's going to be a long time until the next time I compete, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I mean, I just talked about my deadlift, so... Let's work backwards, I guess, right? So my bench went really well. I opened up at 285 and uh, moved up to 297 instead of going for 301 or 335. It just seemed like a better intermediate number to go towards. I was pretty confident I'd be able to hit 300. So I figured 297 was a pretty good stepping stone lift to go for. Uh, if I had, if I did not make 314, I would have been pretty disappointed, but it would have been a PR anyways. 297 would have been a competition PR, so that's what I went for. And thankfully I did get 314 up, though uh, interestingly enough, uh, as I got down under the bar, my right hip started to cramp. And uh, so it was just like, it was just a whole miracle as far as I'm concerned that I got 314 up. Because uh, as much as I tried to use a lot of my hips, I feel like I did, but at the same time I feel like I didn't because of that cramp. My first lift, my squat, everything was going really well. And my, in my second attempt at 485, I kind of hit a plateau, and my spotter decided now would be a good time to help the guy out and touch his chest, you know, the center guy. And uh, that gave me the red light on my second attempt, and I probably would have gotten it. I was, in, in the middle of the lift, I felt like I wasn't going to get it, but looking back on the video, it's apparent that it was a slow grind, but it was a grind nonetheless that I was about to succeed in, so little disappointed. They told me I could try again uh, within four minutes, and I thought to myself, four minutes is not enough rest time for an almost complete lift like like this. So I, I, I said, no, I'll just go for it again on my third attempt. I'll That guarantees me like 10 minutes rest. Uh, go for it again and just get the lift. I probably would have lifted more than 45 in my squat uh, had that not been the case. But, uh, these things happen. So now it's a question of uh, what am I, what am I going to be doing in the future? And uh, I'm going to take a break from powerlifting. Uh, one of the most common recommendations you see from old powerlifters is don't lift, don't lift heavy all the time. A lot of young guys out there I know would probably think to themselves that it's a race against time, and that they got to get as strong as quickly as possible. And I'm of the mindset that's probably not too good for your joints. And it's probably not too good for your tendons. I'm going to take that advice to heart. I'm going to take a break from all this heavy lifting, all this constant heavy lifting, and I'm going to be switching things up. I'm going to be taking boxing lessons with my girlfriend, which I'm looking forward to. And uh, I'm going to be doing some conditioning work. I'm going to get back out to the track, do some sprints. I'm trying to see about getting back into shot put because I'd like to see how far along my strength and uh, whatever explosive power I have left uh, takes me with that. I'm almost sure that I could probably standing throw what I used to glide. So instead of hammering on my bench and my squat and my deadlift, you know, three times a week, or like religiously, 
and really hard, really going at it. With a deload weaker there, I'm going to start looking at my my alternative exercises. I'm going to try working on uh, my overhead press. The goal will be to overhead press my body weight for multiple reps, more than three, which will probably happen in six months. I can see that definitely happening. Um, 100 pound pull up, as many reps as I can. If it's one rep, great. If it's multiple reps, holy shit. Um, and then maybe that could lead into like a one arm pull up. That would be something. I feel like I'd have to cut weight down though to do that. But you never know. And then just a lot of alternatives on everything else. Uh, you know, reverse grip bench press, spotto presses. Um, the the bench presses where I lay down on the bot on the bench and I keep my my feet up and and straight. A lot of alternative squat work, get back into front squats, see about this ganglion cyst I have in my wrist for that, um, cleans, Bulgarian split squats, and then for deadlift, I mean, there's really not much else I can do for deadlift other than, like I said before, uh, mess around with sumo and, you know, just work on Romanian deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, and deficits like, I, like before, but things will probably take a lot, on a lot more volume. Um, I'm going to do my best to uh, keep myself below 80% and just uh, make sure everything is for form and technique and you know, if I really want to kick myself in the ass then to do volume work, not so much lifting to my heavy maximum and then doing like a couple back offsets and then calling it a day. So that's kind of what the next six months will I plan to look like for me. I'm right in the middle of trying to r draw up my program. And um, I'm going to uh, see if I can bring this up. There we go. All right, and I'm going to pick this up. Oh, I have to do some maneuvering. Flip this around. You can kind of see there, there's my Excel sheet, kind of what I, I have planned here. Um, you can see there I have, what, am I, what do I plan to improve? My vertical press, my vertical pulls, my horizontal pulls, conditioning, hip flexor mobility, shoulder mobility, alternative bench work, squat work, and deadlift work. You can see I have a ton of exercises for each one that uh, I plan on maybe trying to throw in there. And then kind of on the bottom here, I have goals. And I don't really have goals for these guys. These are really general stuff, a lot of health-wise kind of stuff. But yeah, body weight press for three reps or more, 100-pound pull-up. Uh, maintain or improve strength and the three main lifts so that I can get back into powerlifting next year. And then I'm just trying to figure out my, my day schedule here. And, I'm not sure if I'm going to do four weeks or not. Four weeks is really hard for me. Three weeks is, is tough enough as it is, but I can't feasibly see myself fitting in, you know, a decent amount of any of these exercises within just two days of lifting and then like a third day of conditioning, flexibility, or, or running, or stretches and boxing, or what have you. So I'm not really sure. We'll see how that all works out. So with all that being said, I don't really know what's going to go on. Probably take a week off, which I usually do after these meets. Really take, take it out of you. I got to get back into work. Because uh, I took the week off, and there's a lot to do, so I don't think my work schedule is going to be in agreement with me too much. I have to do some, I have to do some uh, research on boxing facilities and where I can, if I'm going to get back on track and field at all, maybe for this season. Or how can I do shot put um, <clears throat> indoors every so often, which may be the New York Armory in Manhattan. I can throw outside. It's just you know it's going to be winter time, and that's going to suck a lot. I'm old, and I cramp now from cold weather, <laughs> so I gotta keep that in mind. It's gonna be an interesting couple months. This is probably gonna be a good time for me to try and do more updates on the whole concept of road to strong, the road to becoming stronger. And on that, I should probably try and figure out what it is I'm doing with this channel, because right now it's just been a vlog for me. Whenever I feel like rambling about something, uh, or just going over my life, but I wanted Road to Strong to really be something where I'm I'm explaining things. Uh, I guess the idea of explaining the Road to Strong. problem there is Road to Strong creates the question of what is strong. I have to define what strong is. Am I going to be talking about strength uh, in, the, in the main physical sense? You know, just being physically strong, or do I have to make it, you know, I have to bring in the mentality of it all as well. I'm no Elliot Hulse. I'm no philosopher here. I'm an engineer. Um, and I can I can talk philosophy, sure anyone can, but it's not really what I want to do. I want I want to talk about physically becoming better. What it is you're doing, whether it be running, swimming, lifting, 
I want to talk about strength. I want to talk about meat and potatoes, results. Philosophy is great, but it doesn't. it's hard to yield results through like psychology and mentality. And I'm just not a person to talk about that, those kinds of things, you know. I'm a bit of an introvert. I'm a bit of uh, an asshole sometimes, insensitive. I try to be sympathetic, but I'm not very empathetic. I, I can empathize with people who have depression because I, don't, I never had depression, um, never had any kind of abusive problems. I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy who can talk to you about overcoming um, life's problems because I've had it pretty good other than like low popularity and bullying as a kid. Who hasn't had a bit of that though? So I guess in the coming months, I'm going to try and be talking about more topics with regards to health, fitness, strength. There's one that's been in the works for a while now, and um, I really just need to sit down and, and get to the editing on it because it's just been sitting there for months. Um, so with that being said, thanks for watching. Last thing is uh, no strongman competition because I did not deadlift 500 pounds. Uh, I'm not going to do one until I can. So, just that little bit of information. Comments, questions, leave them please. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Girl Scout.